Good morning, traders. I'm Michael Sabo here with RJO Futures on uh, Friday, uh, September 28th, bringing you some commentary here in the energy market. So, so let's get started here. Uh, right now, a little bit weaker tone here in oil. Oil popped here a little bit on the overnight and has been pulling back a little bit. We're off about 15 cents in that November crude, trading around uh, 91.70. Uh, the Brent just a touch firmer, up about uh, 25 cents at around 112 and a quarter. So just a little bit uh, of a disconnect there. Um, give me a call. You want to talk about the Brent WTI spread? more than happy to go over that with you. Entry exit points, how you could potentially play that. Taking a look at Nat Gas here, a little bit weaker here this morning. We're down about two to three cents right now, trading around uh, 326.90. Uh, um, the complex a bit mixed with the RBOB a little bit weaker. That's off about 70 ticks uh, at around uh, 288.90 ish. And uh, the heat uh, just a touch firmer up 44 at around 315.52. Uh, so, what do we have going on here right now? Well, you know, initially, uh, you know, Spain kind of coming out with uh, their 2013 budget, uh, a lot of austerity measures in there. Obviously, there's some rioting going on there. I mean, uh, some of the public certainly revolting against their ideas that they got to cut their spending, but uh, but that's basically what they're looking at. So the market was actually uh, a bit positive on that news because obviously we got to see them get their fiscal house in order. Uh, but then we kind of started to see things kind of uh, weakening here a little bit. Um, it seems to be a little bit more of a cautious outlook. Equities markets here in the States here did turn lower. Uh, Asian markets were a little bit uh, firmer uh, there for a little while, except uh, uh, the Nikkei was off there just a little bit. But we are starting to see a little bit of a weakening tone here now. And U.S. markets here with them kind of weakening, uh, I, I think is helping uh, pull crude prices down here a little bit. In addition to that, though, um, you know, we did see here the EIA, they did announce here that they're looking at their monthly uh, uh, demand numbers here, and that slipped about one and a half percent under what the estimate was. So that's kind of in line with what I've been saying in a lot of these posts is that the demand uh, side of things is starting to weaken here a little bit. And the outlook for that is uh, to see a little bit of weakening demand. So that, again, coupled with, you look at the supply picture, look at that five-year average, I've mentioned that several times, uh, the supplies are on, on, the, uh, on the upside there a little bit. So weakening demand, uh, I think adequate supplies, as I mentioned in the post here a while back, Saudi Arabia, Arabia's uh, commitment here to uh, uh, you know increasing production actually in an attempt to help uh, push prices just a touch lower. I think that's a one once again, all weighing in the market. Yesterday's price action, we did see the market kind of spike there a little bit, but if you check out the volume, volume was on the lower side. So I think what you were seeing was more of just a little bit of a correction there, lower volume, uh, market kind of being bid up. And, and you know ultimately, I still believe that prices are still gonna dip lower. I think we'll see them get into the probably upper 80 area, uh, short of something of a geopolitical event that I, you know we talk about here. I mean, you look at the tensions there between Israel and Iran and Iran's commitment there to their nuclear program that many don't believe is for uh, peaceful uh, uses. So, you know, we could see something there obviously develop. Uh, so we got to pay attention to that. Otherwise, though, I think right now, you know, I think you're going to see some great two-sided action in that market. I think there's going to be a lot of opportunity in there, whether you're a bull or a bear. Um, obviously, risk management paramount there. So give me a call if you want to discuss that. We can get into more details with everything. And of course, remember that, you know, futures trading does involve a substantial amount of risk. It may not be suitable for all traders. Good luck and good trading.